Hey everyone, I know this isn't a private group, so I don't know how quick people are going to come in, but um, so here's another thing for those of you that are in, enrolled in the membership program. This is why I say pay attention to what your animal's paying attention to. Do you see her just look up? I know what she's looking up at. That could either be a, it's a punisher. I always say it could either be a punisher or a reinforcer. That is a pun, the movement of that kite is a punisher. So I'm going to put this ball out to show you. Let's hopefully she keeps doing what we just caught her doing. See if she comes back to it. So the movement of that kite punished the behavior of her interacting with this ball. Hello, Eva. I'm glad you're in here. This is really cool. I really hope Pat Anderson comes in here. I love talking to Pat and Jason Crean about anthropomorphism. Anthropomorphism is putting human traits on animals. Do I do it? Absolutely. Um, there's dangers to it. So yesterday I had the dogs out here playing with the balls in the pool. And what we just noticed this morning was Willie, Nature's Nursery Turkey Vulture here for training, was out here interacting with the balls. So what I see in what we are taught in applied behavior analysis is don't assume what the animal's doing. Don't label the behavior. Explain the behavior in observable and measurable terms. This is what we're talking about currently, or well, last month, no, this month, in the membership program. So, be careful. Is she playing with a ball? Define playing. What I see is a turkey vulture opening her beak and chasing a ball. What I am looking at, what anthropomorphism is, putting human traits on animal behavior, this is the problem with it. Do I do it? Yes. And I do it for several reasons to get a point across quickly. But be careful because here's where it can be dangerous. Is she playing with a ball? Is she having fun? Um, what I see, I have two main behavior concerns in watching this. And I'm going to tell you. Um, two things I see possibly happening based on the natural behavior of a turkey vulture. Hopefully you guys can hear. And be specific, Bob. Eva, I freaking love that. Um, okay. So now she's interacting with an orange ball. These are observable, measurable terms. These are things I watch for. Those of you that are members, this is one of the examples I told you I was going to do a live stream on. Pay close attention. Now she's interacting with a beak open with a green ball. So there we have um, observable and measurable terms. All right. Um, so is she playing with a ball? That's what people do, right? So if she's playing, that could be anthropomorphism, putting a human trait on animal behavior. Here's two behaviors that I see of concern. I see turkey vultures like to eat and ingest eggs. Is this, hey Sylvia, there's a member. Um, Sylvia, I just got done saying, those of you that are enrolled in the membership program, Sylvia, you may wanna go back and watch this. Observable and measurable terms, okay? So now she's interacting with a blue ball. No pun intended. Um, so let's see what she does now. So her interacting with the ball, um, one thing turkey vultures like to do is eat and ingest eggs. So this could be seriously dangerous if we anthropomorphize this and say she's playing. There's going to be major surgery for a turkey vulture who has ingested a huge ball like that. Now, that's why I'm out here standing right next to her. Um, and I chose to turn on the camera for an educational moment. Um, I think these balls are too big for her to get in her mouth. So that could possibly be one thing. And that's where anthropomorphism could be dangerous. Is it play? Oh, she's playing. Leave the balls out for her so she can play with them all night. And you wake up to a dead turkey vulture who actually was trying to eat them. Because that's what turkey vultures do. Um, Shoot, I really wanted her coming over here and uh, playing with these. This was happening. You're very welcome, Melody. Um, something else. 
she is very nesty right now. That is a label. Let me describe it. Um, when I feed her, she honks. Um, she's on top of the trash, being a turkey vulture. Um, this is why I say be careful. They, animals, I just, we were just talking about this at the Oasis. Animals interpret information differently than people do. Um, we talked about this at our October event last year. Uh, Werner Bingman was here talking about uh, animal cognition. Animals process information different than, well, we're animals too. Turkey vultures process information different than how people do, humans do. All right, so the other thing she was doing, and I really wanted to get it on, uh, uh, I really wanted to show you, because I sat here with Katie Masters is out here with me today, so we're taking this as a training opportunity. She's over there in the corner. Um, here's another label that can be, I think she just saw you, just saying. It's okay, I think you're fine. She's looking back down at the trash now. Um, environmental event antecedent manipulation like we're talking about in the membership program right now mm-hmm that's why um, we're working on Katie coming out here at the same time Willie's out so we used antecedent manipulation the balls um, as a way the behavior we're looking for is any what we would classify as calm normal behavior other than targeting her beak to Katie's head um, so anyways, the other behavior that Willie was doing, let me see if I can encourage her to come back over here so I can show you guys, because I want to show you an extinction burst. We were just talking about extinction bursts. Willie, you want this? So I want a behavior. What's a behavior? I want the behavior of her interacting with one of the balls. Um, what the other thing she was doing See if I can show you. Because this is where anthropomorphism can get dangerous too. You think it's play? Do you really think it's play? Animals play too. They play. There's a whole, there's a lot of science. Good. Antecedent manipulation. There it is, Sylvia. Rearranging the environment to get a behavior or prevent one. Hey, L, we were just talking about you, or I was the other day. Um, okay, so here's where anthropomorphism could come in dangerously, too. Oh, she's playing, is she? Because the wing's going up. Is she trying to eat that ball? Does it look like an egg? Because that's the other thing. I was. It is their nesting season right now. I was watching and trying to observe, is she trying to get this ball underneath her? Because I watched observable, measurable behavior. I watched her behavior change when she gets the ball underneath her. Here we go. Here we go. This is the behavior I want. Is she trying to eat it? Or is she trying to get it underneath her and lay on it? Hey, Ashley. She could be considering it as prey because it, there, watch. See, that's what I wanted. See that ball? She's, she's observable, measurable behavior. She has gotten that ball underneath her, sit like there, right there. That keeps happening. So if behavior is maintaining or increasing, it's being reinforced. So that ball underneath her keeps happening. Watch her body language. I'm looking for observable, measurable behavior of the, uh oh, I can't get near. Because proximity is a reinforcer for aggression for her. Um, oh. um, so what I'm watching for is body language when that ball, okay, now we get a nice little nest going on. I wonder if that's her doing this, and here we thought we had a rodent in here. <laughs> we did. We thought we had a rodent in here because this is happening. We're seeing this hole being dug underneath this little bridge 
Is it actually, because we know she's really nesty. I know it's a label, but it's, it's, it functions, it works. Those of you that know birds, um, and I've noticed her sitting on her, laying down like she would lay on a nest. Here comes Nosy Cello, label. Okay, so um, what is this nesting behavior? I've never seen her do this before. So do you guys see where I'm talking about? My point is anthropomorphism. Can, do I use it? Yes. Can it be? Oh, yeah, that leaf is not going to hurt you. Um, it can be dangerous, though. Be careful. Because nesting behaviors, you guys, also know this is why I do not incur I, this is why I do not reinforce nesting behavior because with not all the time, but with a lot of birds, it can also reinforce um, behaviors re labeled as aggressive. So if we're providing balls out here for her to play with, we may be putting ourselves in dangerous situations because if she starts, I don't know what vultures do with their eggs. I've never seen Willie lay one, all one. We don't even know if she's a female. We just call her female because she's cool. She rocks, so we call her female. <laughs> I just say that because I think it's all females in here right now. <laughs> Anyways, does that make sense, guys? This is where anthropomorphism um, can be dangerous. So all of a sudden we'd be like, but Willie's attacking us. Well, yeah, because she wasn't playing. She was nesting, you know, and see how her legs are down like that. Those are behaviors that I'm, that's observable, measurable behavior. Um, girls rock, yeah. Nice dark place to get nesty, exactly. So, anyways, yeah, just you put it there. Oh, is she clearing out her nest? Who knows? I don't know. I'm gonna watch this behavior, but I hope this was informational. I just saw a key educational point to, um, um, to talk about anthropomorphism because it is, it's kind of a, um, Pat and I talk about it a lot. It's kind of a controversial topic. Um, I wrote an article on anthropomorphism and I had somebody respond saying that was a wasted 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back again. And somebody's like, doesn't that upset you? I said, no, that is my reinforcer behind why I need to try harder to reach different people. <laughs> because I missed an awesome opportunity to prove my point. So anyways, hope that makes sense. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back sometime. All right, so uh, this live stream is for this group only. See you guys.